Hello everyone, here you can see freshly mixed water and ethanol. We're just planning to make some vodka and if you know, to make some vodka you need ethanol and water treated properly through the filtration system. So we've got 40% solution here and we're gonna treat it with this kind of uh, filtration machine. It's a tabletop filtration machine, it's got an option of uh, bottling as well. Very fast and very convenient contraption. So today I would like to uh, show you how this machine works and just tell a little bit about this. This system has two vessels and first vessel getting filled with uh, solution mix mixture of ethanol and water and it goes through the pump goes to the filter and uh, it's a carbon filter this uh, filter replaces all replaced getting replaced all the time every time you filtering you load new carbon inside into the filter so it goes through the filter and uh, into the final final vessel uh, that actually used as a storage if you would like to you can use it as a storage and then on demand you can bottle whatever amount of uh, not whatever amount just within 10 liters this system actually uh, has two vessels uh, each vessel 10 liter capacity uh, it's not 10 liters it's uh, about 11 liters but if you'll take into account that some of the vodka and everything would stay in filter or something you know so it's a uh, 10 liters I would say it's 10 liters so uh, first of all we need to fill up this this vessel and uh, this, this system this filtration system it has few control valves this control valve actually preventing uh, ethanol or our vodka to be to penetrate through the system and to the filter before we change our filter so actually we can replace the internals or carbon in this filter you can replace it anytime you would like to before you fill up this vessel or when it's empty whatever you would like to Plus, here we've got some interesting release valve. So, this is for uh, dirty mixture release because when ethanol mixture goes through the, uh, through the filter, first through the carbon filter, it's getting black, so there's some uh, dust and everything. So, we don't want this dust to go to our final vessel where we are storing clear vodka so we can remove it plus there is another option so if you would like to use this machine to produce big amounts of uh, treated vodka all you need to do just collect whatever amount of vodka you would like to so you can run two or three loads in a row collect it separately then load it one after another into this second vessel and bottle as many as you would like to so first of all we're filling up this vessel with uh, this solution and I'll show you how this machine works so we're filling this first section of our machine with uh, water and ethanol solution so it's a 40 percent one wow little messy. So it's filled up and ready for filtration. The next step we're gonna replace our filter. I'm sorry for some 
little imperfections of welding. This machine was built out of uh, some junk metal of cuts of my big steels production. So actually, there's a zero cost machine. Anyway, uh, now we're just gonna remove this filter and replace the carbon. Now we will remove our carbon filter. It's a polished connection, there is no rubber, the rubber seals. is a carbon that we're going going to replace is an old, an old carbon we're going to throw it away and replace it with a new one now we've got new carbon new activated carbon loaded into our filter and now we can repeat this uh, reverse sequence put it back onto the machine and start our vodka filtration. Filter is installed back and now we have to release some air and let the spirit and water solution enter the system. So we open up this control valve first. And we open up this one. So it will release the air. Now we close this one down and leave this one open. Now we have to switch on our pump. Our pump is working. This valve again closed. What we're doing now, we open up we open up this one completely and start to open up this one very slowly so we allow some spirit to enter the filter here you can see the dirty solution coming out so just let some 200 mils come out it will clear up clean up all the carbon inside and remove all the dust so now when it's clean open up this well completely and close this one down so now it an all getting filtered into the second section second section of the machine. This dirty vodka that we've got with dust and everything, I prefer personally to collect it and redistill it again. There is no tails, no heads, so no problems. But um, I I leave it for few minutes half an hour it just settled down I collect it in a separate vessel and let just redistill it again into the ethanol uh, now we can see that level in the second vessel second second section of this machine is uh, starting to climb up so it's our vodka clean vodka collected in the second section it's clean but again uh, it's not as good for bottling because it can contain some uh, tiny carbon particles and maybe dust or whatever you don't want to see in your bottles and for this reason we've got a secondary filter this is a filter without any carbon this is just porous filter inside uh, it could be ceramic one or whatever and it's uh, allows you to filter out 
all the particles so in your bottle there is gonna be only sparkling clean vodka is some big advantages of this machine it's not a gravity fed one that give you very slow result maybe good for the gravity fed machine is good for uh, I don't know for hobby use for your personal use you know when you have no way to hurry don't really care about your time but if you into some small commercial production really small one or I don't know medium because this machine could be built of any size uh, then you definitely would need this one even this small one as I mentioned it's got two separate uh, units two, two separate vessels and two separate pumps so while on one unit on one side of the machine somebody bottling the another one can already filter uh, the, the solution and Fill it, fill it into into some extra vessel, and this solution, this vodka, already filtered vodka, later can be filled up into the bottling side of this machine and bottled into the bottle. So with no time, with, without any losing of your precious time, you can operate this machine non-stop every day if you would like to and I would say in a couple of hours you would be able to filter up to 200 liters of uh, vodka or it could be I don't know bourbon or maybe wine or something uh, and another one thing if you filtering some certain kind of drink this machine is supposed to be dedicated to this particular drink in case to avoid any contamination to some other drinks so if it's for vodka, it's for vodka. If it's for bourbon, it's for bourbon, whiskey, or whatever you've got. Or otherwise, it would need some good cleanup and secondary filter replacement. First section, first vessel is empty. Uh, you can see it. There's nothing. And the second one, you can see the level. And all we need to do right now, we just leaving all those valves open. We just switching off our pump. Pump is switched off. Now we just closing down this valve. Open up this one completely. If it wasn't, so let some liquid to be siphoned back to to the first section of the filtration unit close it down and technically this is it uh, our system is ready for bottling here you can see the bottle and some bottle caps I'll show you how to bottle uh, and again while you're bottling you can already before you bottling you can reload the filter and start some new filtration what I would say this filter would be good enough for about 30 liters so you can if you run in filtration one after another in a row no problems you don't have to worry about replacing it but if it's been staying somewhere overnight I would consider all the carbon would be contaminated with some unwanted particles, odors or whatever so it's better to replace it now, bottling I'll show you how to bottle now the most important part of our demonstration is bottling is a 1 liter bottle it's over 1 liter, one, 125 anyway, so we'll take our bottle put it here and again it could be in any bottle any, of any size because you can control the speed of the flow open it up and it's gonna take no more than 10 seconds to fill up the bottle of one liter capacity again you can control the speed it's done 
We've got our closure. Light on the bottle. Everything is clean, professional. No particle. No, uh, no particle contamination, no dust floating inside, you know, because sometimes you go to the liquor shop, boutique liquor shop or something, they make in their own booth. You take the bottle, check it and there's something, some UFOs floating inside, so not really pleasant view. And now I'll show you how to close it down. So it's just Leatherman tool. Here's a closure. All you can do. This is just for those guys who do it for themselves in their own houses as a hobby to impress their friends. Plus, it could be just fake boost. So you can see, everything is fine, everything is clear, and you see, skirt is just left on a bottle, very professional. Thank you for viewing, bye.